Uh, so for the third interaction for video log three, um, I sat down with a girl I've been interviewing with, actually in her dorm room because we live in the same dorm, um, and we talked about the the kind of metacognition strategies that we had talked about, but I didn't you know explain those to her. But I asked her questions that would relate to that um, and her success in her harder classes. Um, so one of the things that we talked about was that she had a history class that she had taken that was really really hard for her. Uh, to memorize all that information, um, she said she would make flashcards. That's what she would do to help her do better um, and to study with other friends in the class. And she said that she even would try to come up with ways to memorize names, um, like making acronyms or something like that, or even finding words that rhyme, which is actually something that I would do um, in high school. I haven't taken a history class yet. I actually have to take one. So it was here. It was cool to hear her uh, talk about what she did to do well in the class, because eventually I'll have to take that class too next year. Um, but she took this class her sophomore year, and she's a junior this year. So that's, it was just last year, and she was, so she was telling me about it. But it was interesting to hear her answers to the questions, because um, down the line I will be taking a history class. So not only am I seeing her use her metacognition strategies, but I'm also hearing, like I said, valuable information that could help me down the line is better, down the line better to learn better too. Um, and these strategies that she was talking about, I think are really good strategies to use and it shows that she's using those metacognition strategies because she's conscious and she's aware with the, the way that she learns um, and how she learns best. Um, she saw that after she used these strategies, she started to do much better in the class um, after compared to her second exam score. So what she, she told me that her on her first exam, she didn't do well at all. So Going to the second exam, this is what she, her process was, what she did differently. She made the flashcards. She studied with friends and all that kind of thing. Um, so that's like the kind of thing. So she was, I think it was really cool because it shows that she was thinking about the way she thinks without thinking about it, if that makes any sense at all. But it's those like metacognition strategies. She's thinking about the way that she thinks. Um, she told me that she went up 15 points on her next exam, which I think is pretty amazing to go up 15 points after just changing the way that she thinks about something. And she remembered this clearly because she remembers this was a class she really struggled with because she's normally a really good student and does well in school, but this is a class that she did struggle with. Um, and I actually had similar experiences with my classes as well, or um, rather my, my ISS class that I've had this semester, but it was kind of opposite because on the first exam, I did really well. And then the second exam, I did very poorly. Like, I was not happy with my score at all. So coming up on this third exam, I, I talked to her about all this, too, that I'm trying to think about what I did on the first exam compared to the second exam that could help me do better. And I think that shows her how I was using those metacognition strategies as well. And I was thinking about the way that I learn best. And, you know, I showed her or talked to her about how that's the kind of things that she does, too. And a lot of kids do that without even thinking, and that's the point that we all need to get at without thinking, oh, I need to do this, this, but rather knowing the way that you learn and that kind of thing. Um, I told her that it was kind of funny how we, you know, we went through similar experiences, but mine was just like opposite too. Uh, and we both had to think about the way we learn best and the best way we learn and even what we did wrong so that we can correct our learning in the future. She told me that that history class was a very very challenging class for her. Um, she said that she really had to focus her attention while she was in class because if she didn't pay attention, she knew she for sure wouldn't do well. And I think that was another example of her using those metacognition strategies. She's aware that she needs to pay attention, otherwise she won't do well. And I think that's a hard thing a lot of times for students because they see, oh, well, Susie didn't go to class and she got a four point in the class and I think, oh, I can do that too. But in reality, you get like a three or two five in the class and everybody learns differently and you have to be aware with the type of learner that you are and the things that you need to do to get the grades that you want to get. And I think that once students do find a technique that does work for them, they should start getting the grades that they want to get or at least the better grades than what they had originally gotten. Um, and we also had similarity in the fact that um, the girl I've been interviewing that the classes are, we like the classes better, um, the ones that we're doing well in. And I think that kind of follows true for a lot of people. I think um, 
Well, I know we both try extremely hard in our classes, especially the ones that we aren't doing well in. But I think once again, if if we are doing well, we we agreed on this that if we are doing well in a class, we want to continue to work hard in that class too, because you'll want to keep up that good grade. And it's more fun, I think, when you are getting a good grade in the class, you want to engage more. Um, but for this third video log and the interaction, I think it really helped me to see how different people do learn and even how we do think about the way that we think, if that makes sense. Like I said before, we're not really, like we're aware with the way that we learn and that kind of thing. Um, I've also really enjoyed my time so far getting to know her and I think we're at a point where, you know, we can talk about this in the way that a class that she didn't do well, like she was comfortable telling me a class that she didn't do well in and then the things that she did do well the things that she did in order for her to do well. And that actually will help me in the long run because I'll have to take a class similar to that too. And I think that by engaging with and just seeing how everyone learns and gets information to stick in their head in different ways is something important for a lot of college students to know because we do all learn in different ways too.